been a year since two Centerville volunteer firefighters were injured while responding to the scene of a crash on Interstate 45 in Leon County. The two were hit by an 18 wheeler. One lost his leg. Now a bill inspired partly by that tragedy is on the governor's desk waiting to be signed into law. Once signed, House Bill 898 will increase the penalty for people who fail to slow down and move over. News 3's Donnie Tuggles spoke with the lawmaker behind the legislation today. It's new tonight at 10. What started out as a routine day at work changed the life of Centerville volunteer firefighter Colton Adams. Last year, Adams and fellow firefighter Clint Franklin were injured on I-45 responding helping a driver. Adams shared that experience with District Representative Lynn Stuckey this legislative session. Bless his heart. I mean, really, he's an amazing person. Um, and to, for him to talk about how he was actually giving directions to the young lady whose car was disabled. Many families were hurt by the tragedy that nearly killed Adams. It was a minor accident, giving directions to her sister who was on the phone, and the young lady had given the phone to her to him and said, can you tell my sister how to come pick me up? And the next thing he knows, the, there's a truck bailing, uh, just running into them. The driver of that car was killed and Adams lost his leg. The truck driver responsible didn't face the same. This guy was back on the road within a matter of days, even though he had no insurance and he did not obey the law. That law is the state slow down or move over law. An update that's now on Governor Abbott's desk with stiff and penalties for not yielding the right of way for first responders. I spoke to Adams today who says the past year took its toll on him physically and mentally, but hopes his experience will prevent others from going through what he did. Motivation was that we need to put some teeth into a law that people take it serious as to uh, uh, you move over, you slow down at least 20 mile an hour, or you move over one of the two, uh, when you see those lights. Donnie Togo, News 3. June 18th is the last day the governor can sign or veto bills.